Okay, hello everyone. Uh, we will uh, learn how to create one native application for Ubuntu Touch. If you want to create one in your computer, you can either. I will use uh, Ubuntu 16 because one reason, but Terence will show us another option for 18, okay? Then I will put the presentation first. Uh, okay. Uh, what uh, do we need? We need. I, I am using Ubuntu system because of, for compiling the program, but Terence will show us how to compile with uh, 18 or even with 19.04. And in the 16.04, we need the SDK, the Ubuntu SDK, okay? We can start from the PPA. And we, if we have this one, we have everything. We use um, any uh, code editor. You can use B, uh, I use Heani, I prefer that. You can use Hedit, whatever. Just a plain text. It's not complicated. You have this workshop, you don't need to, to copy everything. You have the, in GitHub, in this URL, you have all the code uh, for this example, okay? You don't need to, to write it. And we need a few things. We need the uh, icons, we need a few images, we need them for our application. And we need a manifest where we are telling things about the application, about the permissions, about the launcher, as in the desktop. We need a, a dot desktop that will uh, name the application in the phone, for example. And the Hard part will be the code of the application. We will see it's not complicated, but this is really easy, okay? We will take a look. Okay, until now. I will start only with the icon of the application. This icon is this. Okay the icon of one application, okay? That, this image will be the icon we will use here later. You can use whatever you want. You see this uh, 256 uh, pixels. And I will use for the application of the sample, we will do a torch. Then I will click in, uh, in, in, the, in this one, and it will be converted in another one, and the flash will uh, turn on. Then I have the icons and the image. Then we will start, I will start from zero, okay? I will start um, Ubuntu. Ubuntu. And I will start with the first icon. The first icon was here, the icon of the application, copy, and we put here. Okay, it's this one. I will close. Okay, the next one is the manifest. It's a JSON, a JSON file. The manifest, as JSON, is declaring the name of the application. For example, dos costales. I will put. Okay. I will put a title to my manifest. For example, torch. Uh, don't forget the comma. <laughs> and a description. 
is my torch example. Okay? And we put the letter. Do you see good the letter? Yes, can I put a bit uh, smaller? Okay. Because, uh, It's okay for you? Yes? Okay. And we need the hooks. What, what are doing the, the hooks? Thoughts. Is calling another files only. Armor and desktop. The torch desktop. This will call this file. We have to create this file. This will declare, declare the, the needs of the application. For example, access to the camera or access to, to contacts, etc., uh, etc. Et and this will we will call the torch dot desktop that will have the icon, the name of the application in the launcher, etc., etc. And we need the version, for example, one, and the maintainer, main, a ver, is it good? Maintainer, yes. yes. I will put costales. And I will, the architecture, I will all, okay. Because architecture is uh, 32 bits, uh, 64 bits, L, M, N. If I put all, will work in a, deck, in a phone or in a desktop, everything, and everywhere. And the last one, the framework. Now I am using Ubuntu is the key you can chase uh, system of four. The last one of them don't have a comma. The comma is only when you are split lines, okay? This don't have comma. This is the last, it doesn't have comma. If you forget one comma, probably will not work. Then okay, this half a comma, 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 everything has a comma. Okay. I think it's okay this file. Any doubt until here? Was easy this one? Yeah. No? It's only a declaration of things, okay? It's only text, it's not code. You are telling the, the, the code ID of your application, for example, for the store. Uh, you uh, tell the title, the description, and this, you are invoking two files the permissions of the application and the launcher. How will there be the launcher? Uh, the name of the application and the icon, okay? The version, who is doing this? For which, which uh, the device? And for Ubuntu 16.04, because the phone is in uh, Ubuntu 16.04. Any doubt until here? No, everyone okay? okay? Let's go to the next file. The next file will be this one. I will copy and paste. New document. And here is a, a JSON. Then we have to use JSON format. And we have to declare here the application can access to the video and the camera because if we activate the flash, it's a torch, then when I click the application, it will uh, turn on the light, the flash. Then we need to say 
if we will need to access to the contacts or something like that, we have to put here, okay? But for our application, we only need uh, these two policy groups. And we need to say the policy version is the 16.04. Only that. We finish it. Yes? Is so, what? No. Yes, you have. Uh, yes, in the documentation you have all of them, but you should use the less possible for your application. Yeah. Yes. For this one, it's only that the video and the camera. It's for the permissions of the application, only. Only, yes. We are only declarating things, not doing the code yet, okay? Okay, okay, yeah. It's, as you see, the, I, I will say, on, we are only uh, tell things to the, to the system. This will, the ID. The system will use this ID for a few things, then I need to say, to tell that to the, to the system. And we are importing files, and we will create this one. New document, copy, now desktop. In desktop, is like the desktop uh, Linux environment. You have to create desktop entry. OK. Dex stop. What? Yes. This one. Yes. You declare the, what uh, permissions do you need? Uh, camera, contacts, um, image. For example, you need to access to the gallery. You will need to access contact. The? Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, the reports. Eh? Ah, bueno, vale, pero... No. no, 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 no. Bueno, we will stay later, okay? For not stop the, the exercise. <laughs> A ver. Ah. It's not moving. We have alfombrilla. Alfombrilla? No, it's not working. Fine. I can try it again. Okay. Then, here, we will put the name. What name do you want in the, in the launcher? Here. We will have a name here. Do you want to prefer something? My shirt, my talk. Okay. And how will the system launch that application? How is launching? And we will take a look now. We will come back here again, OK? If we call this file that we have to create, this will have the code, and we will invoke with this one. Okay, it's a launcher. So we will call QMSM and we'll launch this file. We will take a look later to this one, okay? Uh, oof, no, no. <laughs> no. Okay, and the icon. The icon is this one. This one icon. Then I get this icon. Okay. Terminal is equal a force. It's not a terminal application. And type is equal application. It's equal to application. It's one application. And the last thing is x, x Ubuntu touch equal a force. It's one application for Ubuntu touch. Not for Ubuntu, for example, desktop. 
That is all. Okay, I save. And we only need the code. Okay, this is the hard part, but it's easy. We have the manifest, the permissions, the launcher, and the icon of the launcher. And I will organize the project and I will create one QM, QML folder. Why? Because it's this folder. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Inside, then I will create these files, is this one. It will call this file the, the system. I will open it, and I have to import the libraries. Yeah. Import QT quick. Usually all applications have these libraries, then you can copy and paste only. Import Ubuntu components. Components. And import the last one, QT multimedia, because we have we we need to access to the camera or the or the device. Multimedia five dot. You can copy and paste, and paste okay? This, mm, uh, with the time, could we'll change the version, but for now it's okay this one. Okay. I don't, I don't know. The first import word should be in the lowercase instead of capital. Ah, ah, so, yes. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> very good. You are not sleeping. Very well. Very well. <laughs> and now, this is QML language. Okay? I have to say which is the main view of the application. Is with a box. The main view will be will have an ID. Box. We'll have an application name. Torch Costales. This is the same as this one, okay? Then the device is link linking this ID with the application name. Not comma here because this is not JSON format, it's QML format. Then there is not commas. And this is the key of the application. I will declare a variable that is on and is equal to false. This variable will change the value. Will, when I click to the application, it will be through, then the flash will be turned on. When I click again, it will turn off. Then the flash will off, okay? And I, to say, I, I need to, the, to tell about the size. You need go. 20 and height. This is a unit, okay? It's not centimeters or pixels. This is working very good with all screens. Because if you tell uh, 100 per, uh, pixels, if you are in a big uh, screen, you will see it very uh, small. Then this is a, um, a relative size of the screen. And we need one page for our application. This is like a container. We have, in our application, we, we have one main container. The main container is this one. And we can have several pages. In this case, we will have only one page, the main view. Okay, this will be something like uh, the main view and this another one view inside the main. 
Okay? Anyone lost until here? No? Okay, I will follow them. Here we set the title of the application. The title of the application is this one. A calculator. No, this doesn't have a title. This is a web app. <laughs> a ver, form. This will be the title of the. Uh, this title, okay? The title of the application in here, in the header. Then I can put whatever you want. For example, my torch. Again. Or torch. Yeah, only torch. For difference from the. Then it will put here, uh, here we will put torch, okay? Because the title of the, of the page will be this one. And we need now to say the anchors of the page will be center, horizontal, horizontal center to the parent and the same for the vertical the vertical center will be the same as the parent who is the parent the parent is this one. Then is, is, if this is using these units and this size, this page, uh, uh, <laughs> this page will have, will be centered inside this one. As you see QML is everything like properties. You are uh, using the properties of the things. Okay, and we are doing the key of the application of the page. We are telling the source of this page depends on this variable. variable. This could be false by default or true. If it is true, put this image. It is false, put this another. These ones we will put now here. We create what? This directory. Uh, no, that is a file. Uh, and here I will create. This and this. This one is when it's off the application, and this one is when the application is on. This is like magic. Is if this variable has through, put this icon, this image, and if not, put this another. Okay? Do you understand the sentence? No. Mateo, yes or not? You have to create a lot of applications eh? in the next years. <laughs> okay. And we need, when we click in the image, we need to recognize that click, that touch. Then we, a mouse area is clicked.
what, uh, what, what mouse area we need to, to touch, to click, is easy. The anchor. Anchors file parent. If I click in this area, do this one. What is doing this one? On click it. Do is on is equal to the opposite. If it's true, will be false. If it's false, will be true. Okay? This is the magic. And when you change this one, if it's true, then it's false. The source will automatically change. Then we change the icon. Like magic. I only change the val the valor or the val of the the, the, eh? the value. Where? Here. I tell inside inside the page I have now the view, the current view I have. If I click inside, how it will be bigger that that area as his parent? Then all area. All page. And all page is you, the. How do you define a smaller area? For example, like touching the middle of the bar and not. You can, you can set the width and height for the piece. Yes, you have here. You, you could set. All application. But you can run it in the mouse and the mouse and the mouse and the mouse. Um, we need only the last. We already end the sample. We do, we will access to the camera, and we tell ID is camera, okay? We put an ID, and flash mode of the camera is on th through, then we say set camera flash video live. This will turn on the flash. If not, camera flash off. Only that. And we end. I will save. Um, then, we, let's review everything. I have available, it's on. That will be true or false. Here I will define one image in this page, in this view of the application, who will have depends on the value of the variable. Is this true? This one is this false? This one. Okay? When I click in the most area of the view, where is this the view? The, the, the image, it will change the value of the variable from true to false, from false to true. And this is like magic, either the flash of the camera will be depends on the value of the variable. It's on turn on the flash of the camera, this is a constant, okay, it's like that, or turn off the flash. I hope, then, is I have the files here, manifest, the app armor, the desktop, the icon application. I have my main files. This is the code, the real code of the application. And I have two images for the for everything. Then, do you remember this one? Uh, 
Gia, no, Gia. If I get this one and go here, and I click enter, uh, I have something bad. In the, the, he is telling me in the 16, you have no a property source. Uh, Sixteen is on source. The ah image, <laughs> but for me, I I forget the image. <laughs> this is yes. What? Yeah. <laughs> No, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I forget this. Image will have an ID, my like image. And all, sorry, all this will be for the mouse area, like here. Sorry. I have my view, I have one image, which we match, this one. And I am reading, eh? <laughs> and then if I click in my image, I will change the variable, okay? Sorry about this mistake. I will try again. Okay. Something. Then this is the title, and I can click here, but this doesn't have a flash, okay? I think I forget something because it's so much strange. Remember my like image. Forty. Yes. Here forty. Now better. This is the good thing of Ubuntu Touch. One application for Ubuntu Touch will work in desktop either. And this is um, responsive. You can do like this. You can see this one in a tablet, in a phone, or in a desktop. Any question? C++, I don't know. <laughs> I don't use it. For me, it's more. Yes. Yes, it's possible. Yes. If <laughs> then um, I, need to remove. I will copy to the phone. Ah no. Uh, I have my my application, but I need to create the installer for the phone. That is started, I will blow up to the store, to the application store. How can I create the installer? Like a dev in our desktop. One Debian installer is not a Debian, it's a click. I do like this. Click, build, dot. Only that. Oh, what is happening here? Eh? Something bad. <laughs> eh? I don't know what is bad. I think it's the version of something. Eh?
Ah, ah. I told this, but I told. This is male, no male. Okay. So, and in the in the file is bad either in the desktop. Is the same Fitting, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah. It has to be fit. Oh, uh, four. App Armor. Yeah? The uh, app, app Armor. The app? Uh, I'll just say 1.3. 1? 1.3. 1. 1. One point three. Ah. But this is the same. Uh, no, but this is the same file. I don't know why. Eh? You're coming. <laughs> well, uh, we will try with uh, with another format, but first I will go to here. I have the same code. I don't know why it's not working. Then, okay, I was prepared for this one. <laughs> then I have the same code, okay, <laughs> that you have in GitHub. Then I I do click with dot. Is eh? It's a, a no supported framework, but it's great the clicky one. Because it's a new framework for this version of Ubuntu. Okay. Then I copy. I copy this installer to the phone. I will remove. I 
I will copy to here. Okay. There are another option, and um, Terence will show us, but for now, I will show you this one, and Terence will show the another. Then I will go to this, to the phone, and I will click in the file manager. No, it's... It's not working. Uh, well, in download, in download, I have that file. This file is this one. Then I click on it. Uh, <laughs> and it's telling me, do you want to open? Open with, with the store. You will install this file. I say yes. Then it's installed. And I will have a new icon. Here. This is our icon. The name is Tors. And I will click on it. I know, I will clean another. <laughs> Click. All right. Then it's the same as you see before, but this should turn off the flash. Yes. But, and that's all. I don't know why this example didn't work. Because it's the same. Uh, it's the same in everything. Only this is the change. <laughs> Maybe it's here. I don't know why. Let's compare again. Now will be different, but this not. This my is equal. The ID of no the ID is this one. Is blue only? Only this one. <laughs> it's the same. It was the manifest, but the manifest was equal. What, what? No, but they changed. I don't know. It was this file, the manifest. Yeah. 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 
because if I create then this is now creating the this tab. But uh, Terence will show us all this part. Did you click the code or did, did you type the code or did you? From GitHub, okay. Uh, uh, yes, uh, Terence will show us how to compile the application in the last times, okay? I am doing as the canonical times when the Ubuntu phone was released because I know like that, but Terence will show us how to compile that, okay? Uh, Terence, please. We need to change. Oh. Switching the stuff around. And fingers crossed that it will work. Um, what you saw is that uh, Marcos had to. Wait just a second. Oh, I'm sorry. Marcus. Yeah. Right. Um, you, as I was saying, while the stuff is being switched around, I will give a quick introduction. As you saw, Marcos needed to um, compile his, um, his application separately and copy it over to the device. And um, the, a member of the UbiPorts community, uh, Brian Douglas, has created a, a tool called Clickable. And um, when how can I? Let's see. Yeah. That's better. And it goes here. Uh, yeah, that's almost good. Now let it um, double um, multi is fine. I'll just. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. So Brian Douglas has um, created this tool called Clickable. And that is what all the cool kids nowadays use. And it, what it does for you is it can compile. Um, it can compile your app. I'll need this. Thank you. It'll compile your application for you. It can compile it for the desktop. It can also compile it. Um, for your uh, device. And the good thing about it, what I'll show you in a minute, is that, um, yes, is that it detects what type of device you have, if it's connected, and it'll automatically compile it to the right um, uh, architecture, and also install it on your device. Yes, if you don't believe it, where was it? Um, what was the name? Torch? Torch. Yeah, it's you by the... You have to install cheese. Yes. Oh, no, I don't have to install it. No, you have to install cheese. Oh, cheese. Oh, right. Uh, I don't have cheese? Oh, boy. Let's see. Uh, you should have told me that. I should have figured that out. Yep. As you see, I'm on Disco. About it, well, it'll work on. I, I'll, I'll tell you a bit about. Oh, yeah, there it is. If, if you are in 16, you have to do like me, but it didn't compile. <laughs> no, it's a job. And if you are in 18 or, or more, you have to do like. Okay? I would like to do Uy. Um, oh, we need the other. How do you select the video? Oh, the webcam is... Yeah. You can have my ugly face too, but, and then... I probably have to select it. Does cheese close? And then open. Oh, but I, because I have a, 
Otherwise, I'll use my the. Oh, it was the wrong. One. Oh, the cheese preferences. Yes. You can choose one. That's the right one? This is the Thank you. Yeah, that one. No, the first one. Uh, this one. Yeah. There we go. Yep. So, Marcos said. We all have. No, his pin now. But he said that um, he uninstalled Cheese, um, Torch. So as you see, Torch is not installed. Um, Clickable works with all versions of Ubuntu because it uses Docker containers as the back end for the compilation. So that means that if you want to install, to use Clickable, um, you have several options. You can install it via pip, that's with Python. You can install it via the PPA, that's what I do. And if you're on Arch, you can do the Arch thing. Ah, uh, that's complicated. I'm working on that, but that's complicated because it needs all kinds of um, all kinds of uh, authorizations um, that. Yeah, it, it, would, it would need to be unconfined, and that kind of defeats the purpose of it being a snap. So that. Um, so let's get on to it and see how we could install it. First, we're going to see, is this big enough for everybody? I was going to like, there you go. Is this big enough for everybody? As you can see, we have the same code that Marcos showed earlier. And as we all know, Microsoft loves Linux, so. And Visual Studio Code is a good editor. You can say what you want. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I like it. I especially like the, the terminal here at the bottom, because then you can, do, you can see what's happening. Now, this is the same code that Marcos had, and the first thing he did is show you that if you had, if you copied um, the QML scene, QML main, QML from the um, um, okay. from the icon into your uh, into your command line, that it would simply work. But in Newer versions of Ubuntu, it won't work, A, because I haven't installed the SDK, and B, because the SDK is no longer in the repos, and it's complicated. So if I would do this, it tells me that it's missing all kinds of um, libraries. No joy. I could install all the libraries, but maybe they're different versions, so it might work, it mightn't work. Clickable solves all of this. All we have to do is, and the beauty of Clickable is that the application, the, the project need, doesn't need to have been written with Clickable in mind. In this case, uh, Marcos did it the way he always does it, and so there's no sign of a Clickable manifest, a JSON file, or anything, but Clickable is smart enough to figure it out if you don't tell it anything. So we're going to say clickable desktop. Let's make this bigger. And um, it said auto detected template to be pure. Clickable has different templates. I'm not going to go into it too much because maybe tomorrow Mr. Cybership is going to do that. <laughs> so I invite you all and I encourage you all to come back tomorrow, same time, and then you'll, you'll know more about it. But there are certain templates, and one of them is a pure QML template. That is a QML application without any um, code behind, without any C++, without any Go, without any Rust, without anything. So as I was talking, you see that it successfully built the click, and it started the application. And if you believe me, that, see, it works. And my laptop doesn't have any flash either, so. It doesn't do anything else, but there you go. 
the interesting thing is, you see there is this build folder now, and it, uh, you see this, uh, um, what's this, this, yeah, this triplet is for the architecture. It's the architecture triplet, and then you have the app, the install, and this is what it used to build the application in the, in the, in the container, in the Docker container. And this is the result, and this is what it used. It launched this click app, and it gave you the application you just saw. So that's nice, but now we see, we've, we've seen that it works on the desktop. We'd like to see it work on the, oh right, sorry. I'm typing in my, we'd like to see it work on the, on the phone. Uh, yeah. Oh, Pokemon brightness, yeah. And I'm gonna try to see how we do this next to each other. Always on top. Yeah. There we go. Oh, because it's oh no, it's not automatic. Is this like too bright? What is this? There you go. It's good. Okay, I want you to see what will happen. Um, on the screen and on the device when I say clickable. Uh, the default for clickable is that when you, when you just type clickable, it's going to um, build the app, it's going to build the, uh, it's going to compile the app, it's going to build the click, and it's going to install it to your device. So there we go. Notice that it is now building to 1604 ARM HF. And now it's busy installing it to the device. And there we go. All right, so I'm waiting for something to happen, but it's my turn now. You see? So. <laughs> if you want to know more about Clickable, and, um, well, everything else around uh, application development that hasn't been touched on today or more of the same, um, I encourage you to check your schedules. And uh, thank you, Marcos. So tomorrow, you are going to show us how to say What's the title? What's the title? The, the title. What's the title? Well, in this case, how to record your second one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any questions? You asked Jesus about the, the documentation first? Yes. Do you know the, the web page? Yes. Um, I have it open. You wanted the app app files? Jesus, what's the Lots of uh, information on the docs. The community has been very good in providing information to um, application developers. Um, and uh, there's always room for improvement, of course. So if anything, um, say there's something that's not clear, there are telegram groups. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm. The telegram groups, there are forums. You can, you can ask, and you're free to contribute to uh, expand the document. Thank you. I think No, no, it's not. Uh, Wait. To come up? To come up? Yes, maybe the presentation. Oh, yes. Put your phone down. It's not. Oh, you may.
movement. Uh, uh, yeah, the movement. Yeah, the yeah, that's there is some else. part yeah, that I don't know what. Yeah. 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 And about the click, you asked it before. It's a natural school. You said by, I forget the match uh, closure before. Then when you said this size is the parent, is the parent of faith, you must get this one. But the most area for click will be the parent again. Then will be the parent of the parent of the parent. Then will be all area <laughs> of the. Yes, yes, you can do whatever you want. QML is a bit complicated for me, for the, the things, but you can set uh, the... The box area? Yes. Yes, this one. This is the key. This unit dot GUI, you could use pixels, but pixels will be pixels. And a few big screen will be very small or very big in a small screen. Yes, yes, this one. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Do you want to switch? I will lie at the, yes, well, this one will be responsible, will be this one. Because you are telling, get the horizontal parent. If your parent is bigger, your image will get bigger area. Yeah, because of that. This is. These units are, like, are very good for, for QML because uh, the, the screen size, you don't care about that. You put, this is a standard 40 and 70, we'll see it for, uh, you can put less, but as you say before, you yeah, want yeah, so much. But my... Eh? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We can put one and one. No, no, I mean, I can set like a part limit for something. Yes, yes. You can do everything. Really. Uh, you can put the uh, less size for yeah, uh, one image. Or can you stop using resizing it down? I suppose yes, but I don't know. I guess when it's go to, when it comes to the phone or the device, it's like fixed adapts to the to the screen. Yeah. But if it's running on the desktop, we saw that. Yeah, on the desktop, that's another story. to show in this workshop is that it's really easy to develop one application for Ubuntu phone. Why? Because you need four files and three of them are static information. The desktop, this is the key, but this is a command. The manifest, where you tell things like your Twitter and your ID application, the maintainer, the version, what do you need to access for your application and the code? And the code that you see was not complicated, really. It was uh, 50 lines, because there are a few space. In 50 lines, you get a touch. Uh, it's a bit incredible. Only with those co uh, a few lines to do an application so, so cool like that. Then, and most of it, our properties, the width, the head, the application name, the ID, the title, the it's not the, the real code is this one, when I click change the value, and this one is a magic, when this 
to put this icon to not put the loader. And the other is, do you have any question about anything? Yes, uh, I, I recommend you to do to compile the application like Terence did, okay? Because it work, it will work in Ubuntu 18, 16, maybe there. Maybe you can share this link. Uh, that link, the, the Telegram link. Yeah. Okay. You can check. Oh, no. oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. a I think it's a. Um, my skateboard here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can join if you want to develop applications. You can join. Oh, it's not. In this Telegram group, it's in English, it's a group in English, and here you get the best of the best developers for Ubuntu phone, and you can ask everything, hey, it's not working for me in this, this file, um, probably someone will help you, and uh, everyone is really helpful, and this is the most incredible community I ever saw in my life. The Ubuntu community is very strong, but the Ubuntu phone was incredible. Because a lot of people, very strong and very effusive, everything. It's really beautiful community. If you like to develop um, or only take a drink in a few events, you can join in Telegram in this group. Any more questions? No, no thank you very much.